So tomorrow, today for the theme time, I want us to think a little bit about fear. What are you afraid of? Don't worry, we're not going to invite a horde of monsters into this space. But most of us, in fact, probably all of us, are afraid of something. I have lots of fears, for example. I'm not very good on airplanes. I don't like flying. I'm afraid of flying. I like to travel. I like to get to the destination. I just don't like the way of getting there. I don't like flying, especially if it gets bumpy. I've been on planes that have felt like they're falling out of the sky for a moment or two. I've had that sinking feeling, and it's then that I really hold on tight. I do a lot of praying when I'm in an airplane. I wish I was more like my daughters. Both of them like, they, they actually like it when the flight gets turbulent. They think it's kind of like a ride at the fair. But not me. I'm afraid of flying. And here's another one. I, I'm afraid of heights. I don't like heights. I'm okay on a small ladder. If I had to get up and maybe clean the window or change a light bulb, I can do that. But after that, I can barely move. I knew someone who had a balcony on their apartment. It was on the sixth floor of the apartment building. And I had to move very slowly to get out onto that balcony, grab the railing, and not look down. And when I paint the outside of my house, there's always one part that I dread. I have to climb up a tall ladder to get to the peak of the roof to paint the trim. And I hate it. But I'm too cheap to get somebody else to do it. So I have to stop on each rung of the ladder as I climb up, get used to the height, and then take another step up to the next rung, stop, get used to the height, Take another step up, one at a time. It's a very, very, very slow process. Lots of people say that they don't like talking in public. They're afraid of public speaking. And the idea of getting up in front of a group of people to talk is just too much for them. It fills them with fear. And you know what? It does me too. <laughs> Even though I kind of do it for a living, even though I've been doing this for 30 years. I don't know, Julie, do you still get nervous when you get up? Are you afraid of getting up in front of a group of people? I still get worried. I get afraid when I have to get up to talk. What if I say something stupid? Right? What if everybody laughs at what I say? Or what if I say it doesn't make sense? Or maybe worst of all, what if no one laughs when I, take a, when I make a joke? So my fingers get a little sweaty, I shake a little bit, my knees get wobbly. Those are all very good signs of fear. You may have other fears too. Spiders and wasps, the dark, thunderstorms, dentists, except of course for Dr. Stasiak, doctors, death, the list is almost endless. Lots of things can make us afraid. So what do we do? when we're afraid. Well, something I try to do is to think of things that bring me peace. Think of a peaceful place, a peaceful person, a peaceful, a peaceful action. So often when I'm on an airplane, for example, I actually think of God's hand holding that plane as we go through the air, just like a child would hold a plane when they're playing with it. And that brings me peace. I can remember flying one day, it was, I rem the day was September 29th, which in my tradition is the feast of St. Michael and all angels. So all I did was think of the angels holding this plane up, and that brought me peace. And when I'm on a ladder up very high, I try to breathe deeply and slowly to settle myself down, and to bring me peace. So maybe you can imagine 
backyard or a beautiful beach or a nice quiet stream through the woods, maybe a beautiful yellow field of canola against a bright blue sky, maybe your grandmother's hug, maybe the smell, the taste of your favorite food. Think of something, I'm sure you do, that brings you peace. And of course, we can think of God. God can also bring us peace when we're most afraid. T t today, in the scripture reading, we're going to hear a story from the Bible about the disciples, the closest friends that Jesus had. After Jesus' death, those disciples are in a room and they're scared and they're worried and they're sad and they were afraid. But suddenly, Jesus appears to them and he speaks to them. He knows that they're afraid. So the thing he says to them is peace. And he breathes his peace into them, which sounds maybe like a very weird thing, but also a very beautiful thing. It's like peace is in the air all around them. And all they have to do is breathe. So remember, when we're afraid, God's peace is as close as the air. And whatever you're afraid of, you'll be okay.